today we are reviewing the Tropic Feel NS40 jacket as well as the Tropic Feel NS40 vest where I've tested this product for over a year now and I recently got to test it further on my trip to France on my ski trip although this product is not advertised for skiing purposes it definitely worked out really well in comparison to maybe other products that the people I was traveling with were wearing such as North Face I found that they were getting much colder than I was where I was perfectly fine with maybe like two layers under this with the jacket and the vest and I was perfectly cozy. Here's a look at the jacket in action. Tropic Feel is an emerging Barcelona based travel company committed to inspiring conscious travel and leaving a positive footprint. Since 2017 they've done exactly that and created a wide selection of products specifically made for travellers. Tropic Feel started with sustainable made versatile and high performance travel trainers. Since then, they've expanded to now create backpacks, clothes, and now the NS40 jacket. So at the beginning of my videos, I want to express immediately whether you should buy this product or not. And the rounding answer for Tropic Feel will always be yes, as I've had their products previous to this, and I have tested this product for over a year now, and I can definitely say it is worth the investment. The best place you can purchase the NS40 jacket is directly from Tropic Feel website. Their online payment system is easy to use and provides payment options in over a dozen different currencies. They also offer international shipping so you can ship your NS40 jacket all over the world. So when I see a jacket that is over a hundred dollars or hundred pounds or whatever it may be in whatever currency, my alarms go off in my head because I'm stingy and I'm wondering why am I spending so much on a jacket? Does it make me fly? Is it made of gold? What is the point? Then I realized over a period of time of buying cheap, annoying jackets that fall apart within two months that making an investment in a proper jacket will essentially last a longer time. Penny has dropped. I wish from the very start that I just invested money in a good jacket such as Tropic Feel because for this jacket, if you live in the UK, you will understand this. You can get four seasons in one day. And this jacket is perfect because it is versatile in the fact that you can change this jacket to suit the weather. This jacket and vest is priced at £158. You can get the jacket on its own for £109. The jackets come in four different colours. This is the olive green, I believe, and I also own the blue colour. You can go check out their website for their different array of colors they only have four <laughs> so they're not really an array but enough colors to suit your needs um i don't think every jacket should have an enormous amount of options because that way you get lost in which color you have these have four colors and you can choose from them you know when you see a product online and it's absolutely disappointing when you get it and it looks completely different to what you actually ordered with Tropic Feel, their products are exactly the same, if not better. One of the best features about this jacket is the fact that it is a two-piece design. So for the purpose of this video, they call this part of the jacket the layer, and this obviously the vest. The layer is weatherproof, breathable, and has lots of great features, like a roll-up hood, pockets, and thumbhole cuffs. It's also made using a combination of graphene technology and thermal fiber insulation which helps keep it warm and waterproof. The vest is the other half of the design. It's also made with graphene technology, which keeps it waterproof and also equipped with 100% vegan down filing, which helps it retain heat. The vest is reversible, which means that it can be worn in two different ways. One way it keeps waterproof and the other one shows off the vest stylish look. Keep in mind though, only the upper half of the layer is waterproof and needs to be worn in combination with the vest to keep it fully waterproof. My sister's boyfriend went out with the Tropical Feel. I'm actually just watching back the edits for the Tropic Feel review and realized that I keep saying tropical. Either your girl just really needs a holiday or I'm a bit worried because I can't get it out of my head that it's not tropical. So if I keep saying tropical, I'm sorry. I mean Tropic Feel. Layer and vest on to get some coffees and McDonald's, which is a wee while away, we walk away. Um, when he went out, like I said, if you live in Ireland or in the UK, you will find four seasons in one day. So we, he went out, I was about to say we sent him out, but he voluntarily went out. And it was sunny at the time, dry at the time. And then it started raining from the heavens. And I thought to myself, well, here is a way to test this product in the rain and he came back and have a look at the clip. 
Are you dry in your tropical feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I am mainly going to be speaking about the layer throughout this video, I do want to touch bases on this vest because you can add it on, like I said. I don't believe you can have it separately, which is a shame because I would happily just wear this separately. But it is a good investment to get both because it does make it then more versatile for you to use it throughout the year. Okay, let's talk about the pros of this product. I just want to mention briefly, if you have sensory needs or sensory skin, I will say the vest of this product is made from a kind of padding type of material. They're both made from recycled polyester, however, this has a lot more padding to it. I would wear this directly on my skin and feel absolutely fine. I will say with the layer base of the jacket, inside has like a wet textured feel and I wouldn't personally put that directly onto my skin. So a solution to that is just layering it up or basing it with a cotton type of layer. Although I wore a skin, it is a versatile jacket. You can wear it in all weather. The vest is good for the summer or even when you're on a hike and sweating to death, it is good to take off the under layer and you can just wear the vest or vice versa. One of my favorite features is the pockets, especially when skiing and I wanted my hands free, the front pocket came in so handy. Also, there are extra pockets layered inside the vest. If you ever lose something with this jacket, you just start hitting yourself to death and you'll eventually find it. One thing I consider a really, really big plus with this is, you, can you see the cap on top? Um, so that it doesn't hit your chin, I hate when things hit my chin and leave a mark. Like I said, I have sensitive skin, so anything is gonna trigger um, acne or a rash. So anything to help to avoid that is a plus in my book and it fits nicely. The zippers are also very, very smooth. There is nothing worse than when you're having a bad day and one thing that's gonna send you over the edge, like many of you know, is stubbing your toe or not being able to get your zipper up so Tropic Field definitely prevent this. The material is so slick, clean and waterproof. The Tropic Field NS40 jacket is truly waterproof. Whether you're caught in a light drizzle rain or stuck in a monsoon, the NS40 jacket will definitely keep you dry, which is 100% a bonus if you're traveling the world and looking for a jacket that can adapt to all different types of weather in different countries. The pockets on the jacket are also completely waterproof, so not only will it not let anything in, it will also keep your valuables completely safe. This is another reason why I love this jacket so much. It's entirely self-packable. The jacket comes with its own carrying pocket and essentially folds into itself. This makes it super easy to fit the jacket into a carry-on backpack or even attach it to your day pack. When it's folded into its pouch, it even has a few storage pockets that you can use. It is so soft, you can even use it as a travel pillow or on the road. If you want a hood, you got one. If you don't, then you can hide it away. The NS40 Tropical Fuel Jacket is so versatile. I will say on their website, it says that it is made for 80% of the countries. And I think that's because the 20% is for colder countries that they wouldn't recommend wearing this jacket in. However, I did take it to France in minus 17 um, for skiing and it did absolutely amazing. But that is up to you. Actually, Tropical Fuel will be bringing out a NS60 jacket. I don't know when, but I did see the trailer for it. It looks absolutely amazing. It's the same concept of the two jackets, um, the layer and the vest, but more padded and more suited to colder temperatures. So do be sure to look out for that and hopefully I'll be able to do a review on that when it comes out. I mean, the NS40 jacket and the vest itself look pretty light, but please don't let that fool you because it retains a lot of heat. The fact that it's sustainable and ethically made and is one of the best travel jackets on the market some of the things that make it sustainable are, it's made from recycled polyester, it uses 100% vegan down, it's 100% carbon neutral, the jacket is certified by worldwide responsible accredited production for lawful, ethical and humane production. The packaging it comes in is made from recycled materials. Okay, let's get into the cons of this product. 
Although I have found it really, really difficult to find a con within this product, there are a few things that I will mention. The first thing to think about is the sizing whenever you're deciding which size you should get. I am about five foot five, five foot six on a good day and the size I have is in the medium. I will say I was able to layer up pretty well and still have enough space within the jacket. However, I am about a small on the top, so wherever you wanna compare that, do so. I will say if you are a bit more bustier on the top end of your body, then go slightly up in size. So therefore you will have room to layer if you want. My sister's boyfriend actually tried on the layer and the vest together, the one I have here in the medium, and it fit him perfectly. And he actually had a thick jumper on underneath, as you would have seen in the videos, that was him wearing it. He said that it was perfectly fine and that was with a thick jacket, he had enough room. He is about five foot eight in height. However, in comparison to my boyfriend, who is about six foot something, very tall, he was wearing the medium and it was very short on the arms and wasn't really enough space and he would definitely go up in size. And again, another comparison, my sister has more of a bustier area let's say and she would need to go up in the large it really really does depend on your kind of style because i do like the medium however i probably would have went up in the large just because i like that baggier feel and also then you can layer as much as you want but it really really is up to you i would just bear that in mind in terms of when you are buying the jacket and the vest um it's not really a con if you're in thinking about the kind of material that it is. It is, I just noticed that there is toothpaste on this. Um, but it is wipeable. So anything that you do get marked can be wiped off. It is that kind of material. So it's not really a con, it's just something to think about. So there you have it, my honest review on this product. If you would like to read the written review on this product, the link is in the description, which will take you over to Dream Big Trouble 4. Also, the links for the products we have mentioned today are also in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other products in particular you would like me to review, then comment below.